In this video, I'm going to make and test out several face masks using artificial intelligence. Basically, I'll be asking a smart computer to give me face mask ideas, and whatever it says, I will make. Let's go. Let's start off with something easy. Sure, here's a random ingredient for a face mask, matcha powder. Wait, are you actually giving it to me? Yes. Do I just take it? Holy cow, it actually worked. Add the matcha to the bowl. Smash the smash. Mix it mix. Suck it up. Inject the matcha into the face mask machine. Turn it on and dispense. <gasps> it actually worked. Tasty. Let's take this up a notch. How about using the activated charcoal as an ingredient for a crazy face mask? All right, give it to me. No. After crying myself to sleep, I hopped on Amazon to see if they have any activated charcoal, and indeed they did, so I bought it. After waiting a couple days, it arrived. Let's open it up. Activated charcoal? This stuff is pretty crazy. Smash the smash. According to AI, activated charcoal is known for its detoxifying properties. And AI even told me this. Your skin may look a little spooky during the process, but hopefully the end result will be glowing and healthy looking skin. <gasps> it's definitely a little spooky. Boo! <laughs> How about something natural I can find outside? One unusual ingredient that you can find outside to make a face mask is dandelion petals. So you want me to make a flower face mask? Yes. Are you for real? Yes. Daddy, chill. So I went outside and touched grass. I was on a quest to find dandelions. And after searching my land far and wide, unfortunately, they were nowhere to be found. But I did find some other flowers instead. Here you go, Dwayne. All right, now we toss these into the bowl and get smashing. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad smashing these. I hope I feel bonita. Smash the smash. According to AI, flowers contain natural compounds such as antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, which can help nourish and protect the skin. But the main question is, do you or do you not feel bonita? <gasps> I feel bonita. I'm feeling brave now, so let's heat things up and try something spicy. One spicy ingredient that you could use to make a face mask is Kanye pepper. Kanye pepper? Did I stutter? No, that just seems really spicy. Just do it. Say less. So I ran to my kitchen to look for the spices, and then I found it. Kanye pepper. Let's do some cooking. So AI told me that Kanye pepper contains capsaicin that can benefit the skin. AI, I think you got that one wrong. And judge Kanye pepper? Kanye pepper face mask should never exist. For this one, I'm gonna need protection. <gasps> This one is hot. No one should ever try this. Honestly, after that mask, I need something more chill and refreshing. One refreshing ingredient for a face mask is cucumber. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. That's a lot better than Kanye pepper. Woo. Now let's speed run to Whole Foods and get a nice organic cucumber. Do you prefer big or small cucumbers? I think the small one will get the job done. So AI, why a cucumber face mask? Cucumbers have high water content and are known for their cooling and soothing properties. They can help reduce inflammation, hydrate the skin, and improve skin texture. Okay, okay, I like that. All right, we'll see. Inject the cucumber. Turn it on and dispense. Wow, this one feels really relaxing. I'm definitely getting some spa vibes. Can you do something for me? Of course. I'll do my best to help you with whatever you need. Can you give me a zesty ingredient for a face mask for me? Sure. One zesty ingredient you can use in the face mask is lemon juice. Wow, look at this lemon. I'll take that. Give it a nice juicy squeeze. Do your thing, lemon juice. AI, are lemons even good for your skin? Lemon juice contains citric acid, which can help exfoliate and brighten the skin. Just be careful not to use too much lemon juice or leave it on your skin for too long, as it can be harsh and cause irritation. <gasps> You're telling me that now? A lot of people have dry skin, so let's see what they recommend for that. For dry skin, a good face mask ingredient is avocado. That actually sounds really moisturizing. Avocados from Mexico. AI, what's the deal with avocados? Avocado is rich in healthy fats and antioxidants, which can help nourish and hydrate dry skin. All right, let's see if it's moisturizing. Inject the avocado. Turn it on and dispense. <gasps> Honestly, this one feels really moisturizing, but it's very fragile. What about for oily skin? One ingredient that is great for oily skin and face mask is clay. I don't think I have clay. Let's check Amazon. I'll take that. Thank you, Jeffrey Bozos. According to AI, clay can help absorb excess oil and impurities from the skin, leaving it feeling clean and refreshed. Let's check it out. Inject the clay. Turn it on and dispense. <gasps> This one smells really earthy, and it kind of feels like I have mud on my face. For the final mask, I wanted to treat myself. How about a luxurious face mask? One luxurious ingredient that you can use to make a face mask is 24 karat gold flakes or powder. Okay, let's go. So I quickly searched the internet and bought every gold skincare product I could find. After waiting a week, let's see what we got. Gold flakes, gold cleanser, gold toner, gold serum, gold mist, gold cream, gold mask, another gold face mask. So let's combine all these together to make the world's most luxurious face mask. Wow, this is going to be super fancy. I can already tell it's going to look and feel amazing. It's probably going to be the best face mask I have ever made. Mix is mix. Gold mask. Mix is mix. Gold cream. Mix is 
Mixes mix. And liquid gold. Mixes mix. Bubbles. Suck it up. Inject the gold. Turn it on and dispense. <gasps> I look super shiny. I feel like a million bucks. Comment below what face mask you'd like the best. Thank you for watching and subscribe for some flowers.